Steady Sewer Enterprise Fund. I know we've all chatted about this at various times, and, and uh, I think people, and you, you heard a presentation this evening by a citizen regarding this particular fund. It's going to cost about $20,000 to do the services that are required from a professional engineer, financial engineer and advisor, uh, to study how this should be done, if it should be done. I believe that if we're going to do this study, we need to study the way it's being done now and give you the ins and outs of all of that and the way it could be done if you decided, or the town decided, to go with a sewer enterprise fund. There are pros and cons on both sides of this issue. I think the one that continually is brought up is the fact that if you go to a sewer enterprise fund, the sewer costs are no longer deducted off of your federal income tax because they are not part of an itemized deduction. They would be a billing, every, every whatever the town sets up for the billing. The town also needs, uh, and we would have this analyzed as well, to determine whether or not the, the current bonding payments should be included within the sewer enterprise fund. The purpose of an enterprise fund is to have only those who, in fact, receive sewer pay for the sewer. And with the water department, I, I hope we would use water consumption as a basis for that uh, and we're working quite closely with Aquarian uh, and they've given us a a maybe commitment at this point but I think that's going to change uh, to bring in a funding source for their water bills that have an escalating rate the bigger the user the more they pay for conservation purposes and for for disposal purposes <coughs> so we would have um, the sliding scale in our sewer enterprise fund could be based upon that. It could be based on a flat rate. It could be based on, um, let's see, the city, the, the town of Exeter based, bases on a number of bedrooms. There's a dozen different ways you can do this. But without having a study, there's no sense even continuing to talk about it. It just doesn't make sense without knowing all the facts before, in fact, we take a vote to do something about it, if, in fact, the town even wants to do that. So the recommendation here is to spend some money, $20,000 from the un unreserved fund balance or the unassigned fund balance, uh, to in fact study this, bring back all the pertinent information the board needs to talk about, to think about, and then you can make a decision on whether or not you wish to place it on the ballot. But I wouldn't recommend placing it on the ballot until you do the study because I think you need to know all the questions and all the answers. That's it. That's my that's my speech. So where does the twenty thousand dollars go to? It'll go to a professional engineering and, and financial advisor uh, firm that specializes in this kind of detail work. There are a number of firms around that do this. And what happens if it's not twenty? It's going to have to be twenty because that's all we got. Yeah, but I mean. Who's to say it's not only ten thousand or fifteen thousand? Well, twenty thousand was the figure that we estimated. We don't know until we actually go out to bid on what that cost is. So uh, if it's too much, we just won't do it. If it's if it's more than twenty thousand dollars, it can't be done without additional funding. So it would have to come back. If it's less than twenty thousand dollars, we'd be happy because we we would only take the amount of money out of the surplus fund that represents the amount of the bid. We think we can do it for 20 or less. That's the best information we've been able to garner. So just on the record, <coughs> would it be more appropriate to say to not exceed the sum of $20,000? Well, it can't. Okay. That's the appropriations, 20000 <coughs> can't exceed that amount in a warrant article. I would move that uh, we uh, um, vote to uh, place this on the ballot per the 11-22-17, the Study Sewer Enterprise Fund. Shall the Town of Hampton raise and appropriate the sum of $20,000 to engage in the services of a professional financial advisor or an engineer to study report back to the Board of Selectmen? Motion by Selectman Bean. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. And I'd like to make a comment on this. <clears throat> so... I know I'm getting a lot of feedback on this one. You know, it's going to be another fee. Well, we don't really know anything about what it's going to be yet. All we're doing is using this $20,000 from the unassigned fund balance to determine whether it's something that could possibly work for the town of Hampton. So the way I look at it, 
we don't have anything set aside for what we need to deal with. And this could potentially be a way to maybe start doing that for future uh, infrastructure sore related items that we need to address. So like the town manager has said, it's simply a, be a warrant article to conduct a study to determine whether it's something that will be in the best interest for the town of Hampton. That's all I have. So do I have a vote? And I just want to say that the people can decide for themselves. I'm not saying I'm for it. Yeah. No. I'm just saying that this gives the people a chance to decide if they think this is a good idea. I personally am one of the people that are going to question it about it being tax deductible. Okay. Good all right. point. All all set. All right. Yeah. So all those in favor? All right. Unanimous.